The Labour Party are in trouble again as they have been punished by the Electoral Commission over their recent political donations. Another happy week for Keir Starmer's Labour Party. It's not really the first time when political parties have been punished by or been found out by the Electoral Commission uh, for doing some sort of mistake or actual misconduct. But they have been fined because sometimes they just get the warning saying, oh, you haven't published your accounts or reported it on time. You just please do it. This time the Labour Party has actually been uh, fined, uh, received the fine. Uh, so the Keir Starmer's um, obsession with uh, the World Economic Forum in Davos is going to be accelerated. For those of you who don't know, recently Starmer came and said he prefers Davos and the World Economic Forum to Westminster politics, actual British politics and democracy, because he can just sit there and do whatever he wants. So the Electoral Commission punishing the Labour Party is probably going to make Starmer like the World Economic Forum even more, <laughs> more than before. So the Electoral Commission came and said, well, this is not really a good look for the Labour Party. We actually had uh, uh, Louise Edwards from the uh, Commission saying, where we find offences, we carefully consider the circumstances in deciding whether to impose a penalty, and if so, the level of that penalty. We take into account proportionality, uh, uh, proportionality and a range of factors as set out in our enforcement policy before making our final decision. Publishing closed cases is an important part of delivering transparency in political finance in the UK. She also went on to say that in the case of the Labour Party, our investigations found seven offences related to the late reporting of donations from one of its quarterly financial reports, three of which have resulted in a sanction. So, yes, happy early Christmas, the Labour Party. So, the, the Labour leadership right now, whether it's Rachel Reeves or Keir Starmer or Angela Rayner, they want us to believe that these guys are the grown-ups in the room. They can handle the finances of the public, the economy, the banking system, the monetary system and everything else, right? They can't even manage their own party. They, they don't do good housekeeping. They mishandle their own party members and party donors' money. You've got Rachel Reed's uh, flying business class and decided to Photoshop a picture of herself to cover her seat number, <laughs> but she was still exposed as a hypocrite. Uh, there's nothing wrong with flying business class, but firstly, a pro net zero person saying we are good with public money, we're good with our members' money, we, we, we don't, and we are humble people. We are the Labour Party, party of workers. We don't need business class. You know, we fly with the commoners and the plebs, right? But why does she have to do this? Saying, firstly, <laughs> she posted this picture trying to hide the seat number, didn't go too well, saying, with a Labour government, we will restore our economic economic dignity at home and abroad. Tonight, I fly to the US to start that work. Well, maybe you should just start here first. <laughs> Why are you going to America? And so, obviously, they have the international visits all the time. It doesn't really matter. The problem we have is that she goes out saying we should be humble. We should be good with our own private money, political party money, and government money, taxpayers' money. And she goes out Pretends that she was flying normal with the economy, but she was actually having great food. Beef tataki with asparagus and edamame to start. Artichoke with parmesan soup. Uh, braised beef <laughs> cheeks and cheddar. Great, uh, gratin potatoes, apple crumble, selection of cheeses. This is all on the menu. I mean, you can enjoy it. And she had champagne and everything. I mean, she could do whatever she wants on that uh, with that menu. But uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with it. But don't just go around pretend to be someone else and claim that you are not uh, you know some sort of posho or middle class person I mean, you are you're all champagne socialists that's the problem and we don't really know if we can trust our money with you guys not that the Tories are better but really Keir Starmer, Rachel Reeves and then Angela Rayner so also the Labour Party who can't even handle their own members the latest news that we have is that another Labour politician Jim Hobson has been expelled or suspended, suspended, yeah, uh, for misconduct. The problem with this is that the Labour Party are not telling us why this man has been suspended from the Labour Party. 
He was a councillor in the ward of uh, Bloomfield, I believe, in Blackpool. Um, what, there's a big list now. Now, this channel and some other independent websites are reporting for you guys uh, on a regular basis a list of Labour politicians, uh, councillors and MPs getting suspended, getting expelled, getting arrested, um, getting punished, sanctioned and everything else. Why is it that this list is growing? Why is the mainstream media not on top of this? And why is it that this one, the Labour Party not telling us what happened here? It's a bit big mystery. So the party said that the party does not comment on internal party matters and any complaints from party members are investigated in line with our rules and procedures. Hmm. So when you read their statement, it makes you think a couple of things. Now, we can't really speculate for legal reasons, but all I can say is if they are implying that there were complaints from other members about certain councillors. Now, what could it be? Usually there's been a trend recently. That's all I can say. You know what I mean. <laughs> now, could be that, could be something else. We don't know exactly. They're not telling us. But also, are, are we really sure we should go with this line? A political party that's a public political party that wants to be in government. It, I don't think internal matters are just internal. I think we need to know. Unless these are those very sensitive cases, then just say something and just keep it quiet afterwards. But if it's just something general, a, a basic corruption that's so regular in politics, we have to know. It's in the interest of the public to know what political party we are dealing with. Now, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.